is the the blue sil silver blue purple flip one with the silver satin sheen on there well you guys know the one so anyways sand on there from yesterday's test rise i'm gonna do another you gotta put the 10 hours in on these bad boys so i'm gonna do me another test run i mean not test run but uh breaking the motor let it choke for a little bit you gotta let it choke let it uh, you gotta put the choke on the engine you know just like regular Others, oh, you know, you gotta let the engine warm up and get build compression. So I'm just gonna bike it while it's warming up. to put them on the let them warm up for like I don't know five minutes on the choke I guess I like to do it at like while I'm while I'm riding I, you, should, you should really just let it sit there and you shouldn't really ride it while it's doing its choke thing but I'm not one with the patience expensive bike just because of the quality because you're pushing a normal beach cruiser at like twice three times its limit and if you get yourself a little I think the cheapest one is a, do is a mongoose dolomite if you get that you know you're running it on the beach the parts are just you know they're just not as quality and you're running these bikes at twice two three times their limit and less quality parts is not so good so for me, I, I chose to buy the more expensive, uh, more expensive fat tire bikes that are built a little better, you know, for safety. It's not just about getting a fat tire bike and riding it on the beach. You want to kind of be safe doing it. And uh, other thing is you gotta stay within the law because we are a beach side, and they will pull you if you're doing something wrong. They will not hesitate. They will grab you. So, just trying to do everything right. Make sure everybody's happy and safe and just enjoyable, has fun. Like, four stroke, 49cc. Yeah, I mean, you can do some things. I've done pretty much max it out as far as you could go already. But you can do a couple more things to make it more racy if you wanted more pickup with the gearing and all that good stuff. I'm just went with an all around best, most practical, most practical, most practical, affordable, enjoyable, safe. You know, you don't want to spend five, six hundred dollars on a freaking front suspension. On a bike that's only five six hundred dollars you know and the motor's only 300 you know it's just you gotta you gotta be uh you gotta be practical about stuff you don't want to put ten thousand dollar rims on a five thousand dollar car so I, I, my bikes are balanced price balance you know they got they got speed they got style practicality affordable because something like this, I got all four inch tires. That's, that's the benefit. The Moto Pads only got three inch back tire. You know, the, uh, I'll 
the other all the other bikes only got two two and a quarter inch tires and then the motopeds i said got three inch tires oh boy get out of here crab uh. oh nice nice wow morning ride looks like it'd be the funner ride Thing's nice. These fat tire bikes are definitely, you definitely want to lean them. Whoa. Oh, dang. Got hit by the water on that one. You lean these bikes. There ain't no turning on a dime. I don't even know what'll happen if that water hits me. I'll probably crash. A lot of seaweed on the beach today. Try to run this bad boy up to Lose Blues. A little restaurant up here. Hit these woofy woos. Woofy woo. <laughs> woofy woo.
spinning the tire in this shit. That's funny. That's funny. Test run number two. That was cool. percent of the problems on any of these bikes is gonna be the carburetor that's any four stroke you know it's gonna is a carburetor and then about 10 percent of the problem is gonna be the chain lineup other than that these things are solid that's pretty much what all motorized bike any four stroke motorized the engines are pretty solid real solid matter of fact it's just how you're gonna get that power to the wheel Right to the front door. Oh boy. Whew. A little bit of sand, cool. 